Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel, alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire, the power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many. There may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among uh, them... I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive, and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well. For a human who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. I've enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet grey market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, remember when you helped me get KG's Grey Box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. 
Shepard, I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good specter. The galaxy needs more like him. Bao, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Olun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Olun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to. You were working your way around to it. Bao, Olun's doing some heavy work. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kajay. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with KG. KG wouldn't want you to spend all your time plugged into that thing. Well, he shouldn't have died then. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Bao. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. Bao, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names... I've got it. A recent arrival, Zemandis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nap point for his office. I'll meet you there. Zemandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors serve the Reapers. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big, stupid jellyfish. You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. You're insane. And we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We're taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it! Wait! A virus would be detected unless sent on low-priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. <laughs> you may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors, and she just gave her life to save the Hanar homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor, with a few friends. You can come out now. How'd you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, 
but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're gonna check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep. Nice working with you again. You've never been this uncooperative with us before, Ambassador. That's because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Has that changed? How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? Too many. But fighting the Alliance... ...must continue in order to end the war. We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. You people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the Council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus... ...it's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't... I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. I can't go to CSEC, but Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. Until we killed Korlak. Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. He waking up. This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? <sighs> yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that. Stay calm. Help's coming. Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why he's here. Why? Why go after your old employer, Zaid? Damn, wrong door. He needs you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. He's a recent acquaintance. No, no reason. Very. Shit. All right, I'm listening. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Did those mercs hurt you? I'm fine. 
They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. You tried to do the right thing before. It failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Vola support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. I can't. You can. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. Later, C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. Quick, hands behind your back. We'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the Greek commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Nero. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. This better be on the up and up. Quiet! <clears throat> I have to look even more powerful than Crete thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this... <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Crete. So... Do you agree to Arya's terms? Uh, most definitely. Arya can use Blood Pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Quill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Quill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes! Yes! I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Let's check on the wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. 
Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of him. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. Commander Shepard. General Araka, I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes, neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now, reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with a bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. So, what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and then spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with CSEC, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Here. I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavin back, but it's something. Thank you. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the Council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. 
We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Who's that spying on me now? Ah, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. You have to move on. And I will, once all my enemies are dead. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris' release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Sane, you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes. I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? Put down the truth. Good, bad, don't leave anything out. Let history be the judge. I'll give them the facts. Let me just delete all these breathless passages on your heroics. You writing anything I can't live up to? I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. It's good to have a crew I can trust. Maybe we don't always say it so plainly, but we're proud to be here, Shepard. And proud of you. Thanks. <laughs>